Kaya nga ba't sa araw na to, sasabihin natin sa sambayanan tuloy ang subway station. Secretary Delphine Lorenzana, sir. Uh, uh, to my boss, Secretary Arthur Tugade, my fellow officials from the DOTR, our officers from the armed forces, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Five subway stations, the North Avenue Station, East Avenue Station, Camp Aguinaldo Station, Lawton Station, and Senate DepEd Station. Five DND camps, or the DND AFP camps and facilities. The Veterans Memorial Medical Center and Golf Course. The AFP Medical Center, formerly known as the V. Luna Hospital. Camp Aguinaldo, Fort Bonifacio, and Villamore Air Base. 50,000 square meters for station works, 60,000 square meters for interstation tunnels, and 55,000 square meters for temporary works. These are the numbers that demonstrate the scale of the partnership that will be formalized today among the Department of National Defense, the Armed Forces of the Philippines, and the Department of Transportation. A partnership that will contribute to the fast and sure delivery of one of the boldest and most ambitious projects in the Duterte administration's Build, Build, Build program. Spanning 34 kilometers with 17 stations from Valenzuela to Naiya Terminal 3 and FTI, the Metro Manila subway project will reduce travel time from Quezon City to Naiya Terminal 3 from the current one hour and 10 minutes down to just 35 minutes. In its first day of full operations, it is expected that 360,000 passengers will ride the subway on a daily basis, with a capacity to service up to 1 million passengers per day in the years to come. Led by our indefatigable and untiring Secretary, Secretary Arthur Tugade, Today we will sign not only today we will sign a right of way usage agreement which will not only allow DOTR to fast track its access to construction and work sites needed for the subway but will also give DND and the armed forces a fair and recurring source of resources for the betterment and upliftment of our heroes in the armed forces in the short term DOTR will replicate affected DND AFP structures and facilities, including the construction of 192 units of armed forces housing in Camp Aguinaldo, and the replication and improvement of affected facilities of the Veterans Memorial Center and golf course. In the short to long term, DOTR will pay DND AFP a recurring annual usufruct fee of 10% of the latest zonal value and 5% of gross non fare box revenues of the concerned subway stations, which are further to Secretary Tugade's direction not only to ensure that the subway is developed in a manner that maximizes the connectivity to government properties, but para na din po masigurado na ang investment natin sa kauna-unahan nating subway ay may balik at pakinabang para po sa ating kasundaluhan. With today's right-of-way usage agreement signing ceremony, the Duterte government, with all its departments, agencies, and instrumentalities, move a step closer towards realizing the Philippines' golden age of infrastructure and delivering a more comfortable life to every Filipino. Thank you and good morning to all. Thank you so much, Lisa T.J. Batan, for that very informative speech. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we proceed to the main part of this ceremony, the signing of the right-of-way usage agreement between the Department of Transportation and Department of National Defense. Under this row UA, the DOTR and the DND agreed to cooperate regarding the usage of DND right-of-way for the DOTR MMSP requirements. May I request Secretary Arthur Tugade from the Department of Transportation and Secretary Delphine Lorenzana from the Department of National Defense 
to please proceed in front for the signing of the right-of-way usage agreement. So today, ladies and gentlemen, we witness another milestone for the Metro Manila subway project, the signing of the right-of-way usage agreement between the Department of Transportation and Department of National Defense. So through this cooperation, the MMSP does not only offer a dynamic state on the rail transport network, but also a strong bond between and among government agencies. So there you have it, everyone, the signed right-of-way usage agreement between the Department of Transportation and Department of National Defense. Okay, so now we proceed to a quick picture-taking for our documentation. Thank you very much to our dear secretaries. So this time, I would like to give the floor to the Secretary of the Department of Transportation to give us his message. Let us all welcome Secretary Arthur Togade. Uh, Secretary De Lorenzana, magandang umaga ho sa inyo. Sa lahat ng ating mga kasamahan sa kagawaran ng uh, National Defense, magandang umaga ho sa inyo. To the men and women in the service of government, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. When uh, President Duterte gave us a marching order when Secretary Dell and myself, together with all the other cabinets, assumed the position, the President made a very simple marching order. He said, make the Filipino life comfortable, make them safe, make their way of living convenient. Napakasimple po ng marching order na ito pero punong-puno ng kahulugan. Kaya nga ba ang kabinete na kung saan kasama si Secretary Del at yung aking persona ngayon, naghanap po kami ng pamaraan upang sundin at itaguyod ang kagustuhan mandato ng ating presidente to make the Filipino life comfortable, convenient, and safe. Kaya nga po sa aming pagdidili-dili at pagplano Sabi namin marahil at tama lang at nauugma lang na maumpisahan na natin yung tinatawag na subway station. Madami ho nagplano, madami nangarap, madami nagkagusto ng mga nakarang taon. Ngunit hindi ho nabigyan ng realidad o kahulugan. Sa pamumuno ng ating mahal na Mayor President Rodrigo Roa Duterte, umusad at tumalon yung proyektong tinatawag natin na Manila Subway Station. Nung nangyari yung pandemic, sabi po nila at tahimik ang kagawaran ng transportasyon na pinaplano upang iusad yung proyekto, sabi ng mga nakakarami, lalo na yung mga objector, sabi nila, wala na, wala na, wala na yung Manila Subway Station. Hindi po totoo yan. In fact, ilang buwan ang nakakaraan, Ilinunsad at inanunsyo namin yung pagtatapos ng tunnel boring machine. Ang sabi po namin nung inilunsad yan, eto na yung umpisa ng pagkakaroon ng Manila Subway Station. Ngayong araw na ito, pinirmaan ho ni Secretary Del at ng kagawaran ng transportasyon 
ang agreement na kung saan magbibigay ng malaking hakbangin yung pag-realize ng tinatawag na Manila Subway Station. Kaya nga ba't sa araw na to, sasabihin natin sa sambayanan tuloy ang Subway Station. Make the Filipino life comfortable, convenient, and safe. Yan ho ang hangarin ng Manila Subway Station. Secretary Del, nagpapasalamat ako sa iyo kasama ng inyong pamunuan at kagawaran na nakikiisa, nakikipagkapit-bisig sa amin upang matagoyo di lunsad at ma-realize yung tinatawag na Manila Subway Station kung wala ho yung Department of National Defense, kung wala ho si Kalihim Del, mahihirapan ho tayo baka hindi ho umusad yung subway station. Mahalaga ho yung pinirmahan natin dokumento ngayon. Because magbibigay ho ito ng kahulugan at realidad upang yung Manila subway station, upang yung sinasabi ng ating Pangulo, make the Filipino life comfortable and convenient ay magkaroon ng katotohanan. On a personal note, I would like to thank Secretary Del. Alam niyo si Secretary Del, parang anghel de la guardia ko yan sa kabinete at sa mga pulong-pulong. Minsan sasabihin niya at itaas mo yung mas mo at basyado kang nakadikit yung mukha mo nakikita. Ang mahalaga niyan, Art, tutulungan kita pagkat naniniwala ako sa mandato ng Presidente. He has been a great source of inspiration and strength for me. When there were moments where I will doubt and question the reason and the rationale why I am here in government, like a guardian angel that he is to me, tuloy mo, tama yung ginagawa mo. Today I say it in public for the first time. Secretary Del, malaking bagay ho yung mga bulong-bulong at pagtutulak mo sa akin. Maraming salamat. Ngayon ho, nandito yung kagawaran. Nakikisa at sinasabing para bagang bigyan katotohanan yung pag-usad at pagtulok sa akin ni Kalihim Del. Ang, ang kagawaran ngayon, tumutulong sa proyektong flagship project ika nga ng ating mahal na Pangulo, Mayor Rodrigo Roa Duterte. Nandiyan dyan ang kagawaran sa inyong lahat, Sir. Saludo ho ako. Thank you, thank you very much. Let me just add an additional footnote. Baka, Ma'am, iisipin mo na ito lang ang proyektong kung saan ay kasapi at kabisig namin ang kagawaran. Hindi ho. Ito ho magpapanutunay sa akin ang paniniwala ang paniniwala ko sa kagawaran. May mga proyekto ko kami sa airport na kung saan, sabi ko, ang national defense no, ang na, ang gagawa nito. Nandiyan yung lawag, bigan, lagindingan, yung jensan, katulong ho namin yan. Kasi ho, naniniwala ako sa kapasidad, sa commitment, sa honesty and transparency ng kagawaran. And so today, to the national defense, at yung armed forces, salamat, salamat, salamat sa tulong nyo. Today, this gathering is special to me because of the subway project. Today, it is personally special to me because now I am able to express to Secretary Del Lorenzana the personal feelings I have long wanted to tell him. Mabuhay tayong lahat, mabuhay ang proyekto, kapit-bisik sa inyong lahat. Magandang umaga ho. Thank you so much, Secretary Arthur Togade, for that wonderful and inspiring message.
Secretary Arthur Tugadi of the Department of Transportation, uh, DND officials, seated by Under Secretary Cardoso Luna, the OTR officials, seated by uh, Under Secretary Timothy John Batan, uh, AP officials, uh, led by Lieutenant General Gloria, friends from the media, other government officials and employees. Ladies and gentlemen, magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. Napakahirap pong sundan si Secretary Tugadi pagkaya yung speech kami kasi pag ako na paralak mo sasabi, sinabi na niya lahat. But thank you very much for those uh, kind words to us, uh, Secretary Tugadi. Uh, alam po ninyo, uh, sa tinagal-tagal ko namang nagtatravel sa paglalakbay sa iba-ibang bansa, ay napansin ko na Progressive countries or developed countries, ang maganda sa kanila, ang one of the things that you can see when you land in the airport and you travel to your hotel ay napakaganda ng kanilang alsada. They have mass transport, mayroon silang underground, mayroon silang above ground, and uh, people just ride the, ride the mass transport. Uh, sa Washington DC na lang, uh, without the subway, talagang ang traffic doon parang Manila. But because of the subway, people will ride the subway. They will park. Merong, sa lahat ng station, merong park, uh, parking spaces with a minimal uh, fee. Then ride the bus, uh, ride, the, ride the metro, going to the office, back again. At the end of the day, they will again ride their uh, car to their homes. So ito ngayon, I think uh, when, the sub, when the metro rail was being planned uh, many, many years ago. I think uh, that was under the, uh, the term of um, President uh, uh, Fidel Ramos. Mukhang mayroong naging, ano dun, eh, naging um, debate whether it is under, uh, underground or above ground. So, uh, nanalo yung above ground because it is cheaper. It's really cheaper than uh, the underground, but uh, uh, looking back, we should have done the underground before. Sana ngayon, okay na yan. And uh, we could have avoided this, all this traffic. So, yun nga, uh, tama yung sinasabi ni uh, Secretary Tugadi. Uh, I support kasi I am uh, very, very much passionate about improving our traffic system. Dahil lahat tayo apiktado eh. Paano ka nakakita lang isang tra travel from, um, from Aguinaldo to, to Port Bonifacio? Abuting ka ng two to four hours. Subukan ko na yan noong... Uh, while I was still driving when I was here. Even today, it's still very difficult to travel. Uh, I have a friend, uh, a diplomat, uh, has been here for uh, one year. So I said, have you been to the Philippines, uh, around the Philippines? Ah, uh, yeah, I've been to EDSA. I've been to EDSA. Para bang lahat ng time nyo dito sa Pilipinas is spent in EDSA. So, nung mag-lockdown tayo, pandemic, I texted kagad si Secretary Tugati, sabi ko, Secretary, ito na yung chance natin na i-modernize natin yung transport system. So I made some suggestions, sabi ko, this transport system should be owned and handled by the government. Pumunta ka sa iba-ibang mga malalaking, uh, malalaking siyudad sa buong mundo. DC, uh, New York, uh, Moscow, lahat na. Even in Canberra or in Sydney. It is not owned or uh, managed by the private sector. It is government. Kasi yung bus, kahit walang laman yan, kung gobyerno, tatakbo yan kung oras na tumakbo. In Canberra, because I stayed there for one year, yung bus, bus stop namin sa, tap sa tapat ng bahay ko. Eh. Alam mo, pag sinabi niya ang, ang bus will, will be there at 7.30 in the morning, nandoon yan. So, May laman o wala, tatakbo. But if it is handled by the civilian or the uh, ano, mga businessmen, hindi tatakbo yan. Pupunoy muna niya yung kanyang, ano, yung kanyang uh, sakyan. Otherwise, malulogi sila. It is subsidized. In, in Washington, D.C., the metro system, the metro system in D.C. is composed of uh, two. Diba? Buses at saka underground. Kasi hindi ko connect-connect yan eh. And the system is subsidized by the government. Government of Northern Virginia, the government of D.C. and Baltimore. 
every year yeah, they allocate money to, to support the, uh, the, the metro system. So dito ay, uh, sabi nga ni Secretary Art, yung kanyang jeepney replacement system that is being opposed by piston. Sabi ko nga sa kanya, pagka hawak na natin yung mass transit, wala na rin piston na mag, uh, mag uh, tapag ito, mag-demonstrate or uh, mag uh, boycott. Hmm. So today, we are actually offering a govern government uh, property. Hindi naman ito pag-aari ng uh, armed forces per se, that is owned by the government. So whatever we can do to help uh, the Department of Transportation, gagawin namin yan, Secretary Art. Uh, lahat ng aming kampo, open side nyo yan. And uh, mukhang mayroon din kami pakinabang dito eh. Malaki din pakinabang ng uh, armed forces because some of the, sinasabi mo kanina, may mga revenues tayo dito which we can use for our uh, um, pension system, modernization of the armed forces. Um, malaki pa. This uh, camp is almost 200, 200 hectares. Uh, the Veterans Hospital is uh, 50 hectares. Yung Viluna, I think it's about 30 hectares. Malaki. We, see, we have a lot of uh, properties here to, to, to be offered for the government projects. So today is a very um, important uh, day for uh, the country. Uh, hopefully, the uh, target ni Secretary Togal is to finish this first phase before the president steps down. So, uh, we will be able to underground. And there are businesses, businesses to be put up dito sa mga station. And sabi niya, kung anong, kung anong, anong properties dito, it will be, it will uh, go to the, any income will go to the uh, to the armed forces and to the Department of Defense. So, thank you very much, uh, Secretary Art. Um, siya yung palaging pinupuri ni Presidente, uh, whether, he, whether uh, Secretary Art is present or not, sinasabi niya na magaling itong si, Secret si Secretary Tugali. Ang dami niya na nagagawa. Which is true. Marami, marami siyang nagawa. I think uh, he, has, he has improved a lot of airports already. Uh, sunod na naman yung mga seaports and um, saka yung mga facilities sa airport, mga radars and everything uh, uh, when I was in uh, when I we went to Coron uh, yung Bautista airport doon ano eh, napaka eh. pag landing ng, hindi pa nga nakakalanding yung plano para nagbe-break na siya Pagdating po, pag nakabreak siya, nandiyan na yung uh, dulo ng runway. So I, 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 I texted him already, yeah, immediately. Sabi ko, Secretary Art, ayusin mo naman itong airport dito sa Coron. Uh, dahil napakaraming turista nun eh. And immediately, uh, inaksyonan niya yun. And um, I think uh, the next project, uh, Secretary Art, is the airport in Sambuanga City. Ah, uh, yeah, Sambuanga City. Video... <laughs> na agnas na yung mga bato at tumatalsik na yung mga ano dun. And uh, it's very difficult for the aircrafts uh, to, to land already. So, thank you very much, Secretary Art, for this. Uh, remember that nasa likod mo ako. I always support you. Uh, like when uh, he was going to the Senate to uh, testify, tinis ko siya. Secretary Art, huwag kang bumigay. Bulumaban ka. <laughs> Masalamat siya. Uh, uh, you know what I mean? So, thank you very much and uh, let us have a good day.